Well, I'm out for a wee walk with the dog, and you see it's a nice day today. <laughs> but I haven't brought any of my camera gear, I'm just recording this on my phone. And I'm wishing I'd brought my camera gear because it's the first time I've been here. We're only about, I don't know, 10 miles from my house. I can't believe I've never been here, but look at this. Look behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Those woods are absolutely, well, it's not the woods, it's the bluebells. Absolutely stunning. You might not be able to make it out, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So I will be back here for sure. So it didn't take me long to head back to this magical, ancient woodland. In fact, it was the next day. Having never visited it in over 40 years, I was straight back here. I was really, really blown away by it the previous day. And it had been raining. Uh, the weather wasn't as nice, but that almost made the, the bluebells in the woodlands even more gorgeous. The blues and the greens were, were really vibrant. And these bluebell woods are usually a sign of ancient woodland because the, the bluebells do take a long time to establish themselves and that makes it even more important not to trod in them and, and be careful and stick to the paths. So as you can tell I'm back in the woods with the bluebells and I'd come here yesterday for the first time ever and as you probably saw I didn't have any of my camera gear with me or anything <laughs> and I was so disappointed so I just took some footage with my with my phone, which you've seen. And yesterday was the end of a really dry spell and today it's rained all day. And I had to come back to the area, my in-laws stay just about two miles up the road so my son was going to stay with him tonight. I thought I'm going to take the dog for a walk here again. I'm, I'm glad I did. It's just absolutely spectacular. I mean, I don't know if you can make it out <laughs> on the camera, but it's just so purple and blue. It's just magical. What a place. Absolutely beautiful. And the, the, even without the bluebells, these woods are fantastic, natural. I think it's owned by the Woodland Trust now. And there's old beaches, which I'll talk about, really old trees here, which I think they're on their last legs. And there's a really famous one, which has only become famous in the last few years. Um, you might be able to figure that out for certain fans of a, a show with a Jamie Fraser in it. <laughs> this is just lovely. So I'm going to carry on and just enjoy the short walk around these wonderful woodlands. Fantastic. And I certainly was enjoying myself. It was just fantastic. And having the whole place to myself was wonderful. So I just enjoyed the bluebells as I wandered through them, heading towards Fraser's Ridge and the Witness Trees. Another thing that probably doesn't, well, definitely won't show up. I know the colours won't look as vibrant as they do with the, the naked eye at the moment on the camera. But if I could give you smell o vision the smell is like standing in a, or near a field of oilseed drape. It's a really, really polleny, flowery smell. And it's maybe, if you've got hay fever, it's maybe not the sort of place you want to come to. But the smells are just about as vibrant as the colours are. And just after the rain as well, the, the flowers are really, really kind of purpley blue and the grass is lush and green. It really is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Wow. What a place. It's quite important here, and you can see from I spin round, you can see all the beautiful flowers. It's quite important to stay in the paths because if you go off the paths, you're trampling the flowers down. You can see bits where people have gone off, unfortunately. It just kind of spoils it for everyone else. And there is placards here to, to make sure you stay to the paths, like this one here. There you go. It's really quite important that we do that so we can preserve it. God knows how long it took to, uh, to yeah, make it like this. I need to do a bit of research and put it in the voiceover in a wee while. So I shall do that when I get home. This is just lovely. Fantastic. Right, onwards we go. 
It's absolutely stunning. And the smells, as I said before, just fantastic. Beautiful. I just don't know where to look. I've not got my proper camera with me today because I wasn't sure how busy it would be or whether I'd even do this. So all the shots that I've put up are just taking them on my iPhone. Hopefully they come out alright. <laughs> you never know, but I always say these wee phones are just getting better and better at taking pictures. So I'm hoping some of them have come out fairly well. So let's go and see if we can find this famous beech tree and see if we can get a photo there. Let's go. Before long I was approaching these two ancient beech trees and I recognised them instantly from the show Outlander. And they were on the ancient highway which takes you eventually to the old church at King Clavin. And this highway had lots of these trees on either side of it. A good, good couple of hundred years old. Anyway, I spent a bit of time here soaking in the atmosphere with the bluebells on one side and the ancient forest on the other. It was beautiful. So here I am. These are the famous old beech trees. Probably seen more visitors in the last two or three years than they, than they ever have. If I go back here, you might get a better view of them. If I come back here, I don't know how, how well you'll see them. I'll be silhouetted. But these were in season four of a programme called Outlander. It's a very famous programme which, for the first two series, certainly were, were set in Scotland. But all the filming prior to that, it's also a lot of it's been done in Scotland. And these parts here were where they are given some new ground to settle and it's called, they call it Fraser's Ridge. And apparently the main, uh, the main dude in the show, Jamie Fraser, marks the, uh, the trees with FR, just to mark his territory or something like that, I'm not sure. But you can see why they, they chose this as a location. It's absolutely stunning. And these are a couple of examples of these old beech trees which are dying away, apparently. It's a type of fungi that's eating away at them and they're slowly decaying, so I don't know how much longer they've got to live. But they're certainly in their... Uh, Older years, shall we say. Fantastic. We can see, look at that, have I got there? Huge. Lovely. And all the bluebells behind it. It's just a stunning, stunning place. I can't recommend this enough. I know it's not a mountain video, but it is a Sunday I'm showing this. And I'll, as I said, the, the Sunday videos are something slightly different. I think this is certainly different to mountains, but equal, equally as spectacular. I hope you agree. What a place. Right, I want to take some photos. <laughs> Well, what a great wee trip. As I said, I can't recommend this enough. And I'm going to stop here, but you can only remember, you can only come here, well, you can come here any time of the year, but it's only a certain time of the year you get these lovely blue bluebells out. And it's usually about springtime, it's May at the moment. I don't know when this video will go out, but it's, uh, it's fantastic. Film locations, beautiful flora. <laughs> you just don't get this in many places. Not in Scotland, anyways, but you, you get it, you do get it in other woodlands, but. Uh, it's not as thick as here, maybe a dozen to two dozen locations where it's as, as good as this. And you've got to hit it at the right time as well. After some rain like today, it's just very, very vibrant. So, um, yeah, get out there next spring and then go and find the bluebells. It's well worth it. Fantastic. Right, time to get home. Saturday night, I should have a beer waiting for me somewhere. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it and stay safe out there till the next time. Right Lex, let's go. Come on, this way. Good girl. Here she comes. She's back home as well. <laughs>